In this video we're going to be checking over this Olympus Trip AF31 35mm point and shoot film camera. And my goal here is to look this camera over on video in the level of detail that you would want to see if you were holding it in your own hands. So as to get started we have a scrap roll of film and two AA batteries. Now none of this comes with it, these are just here for our testing purposes. But we get started by opening the battery compartment on the bottom and uh, we can see first of all a very nice and clean battery compartment. Everything looks really good here so we load in one battery that way and one that way. And then as we look, I should mention here this camera does have a quartz date function but I tested it earlier and it only ran through the year 2019 so I left the battery out of here but there is a place on the inside here if you take off this little screw this little plate comes off and then you can slip a little uh, CR2025 battery in there and put this back on but as I noted it only worked through the year 2019 so I just figured nobody's going to want to mess with that so I'm not going to demonstrate that but it did work I was able to set the calendar and the clock and everything so we'll load this film in here put the, the cartridge there and the tail over here now on this camera it doesn't do any auto advancing or anything but we see here an S in the film counter window and we just have to advance that a few times. Oh, we have to pull the cover over too to turn it on. Then we just advance that. And that is telling me that it's not loading quite properly. So we're going to open this back up again and make sure that that film tail is right over in there where we want it to be because it didn't start advancing. So we're going to make sure that that's in there like that. And let's try it again. So it's on S. Okay, there that worked. So now let's try it again. Until we get the number one centered in the window. So now we're ready to go. And so this camera just has a fixed 34 millimeter f5.6 lens and it's autofocus so we can just point this off here and let it okay and it worked now if we want to have fill in flash regardless of the lighting conditions we can push this button and hold it and then the flash goes off or if it's a dark area and we don't want the flash to go off there's a, a flash um, suppression button here so it will not flash with this pushed and we saw that work too so the other thing I wanted to test was the self timer and there's a little button on the top here it's a self timer and you have to hold that down while you press the shutter button and we see the little red light there and then we'll just watch it complete its cycle And there it did. Now this is a very short little roll of film. Uh, it's up to about picture five. I think there's only about seven on there. So I'm just going to shoot the rest of these off because we've pretty much tested everything now except the rewind. Okay, there I think that hit the end. Now this camera also does not auto rewind but there's a rewind button right here. So to rewind the film we slide this over here to the right. And now we can see it's counting backwards down through here in the film counter. I don't know how well that's showing in the video but I see it counting back down. Okay, and there I heard it break free of the take-up spool. So it's just winding to make sure it's all back into the housing. And so now we can open this up and as expected, all the film is back into the canister here. And if this were real roll of film, we could send that out for processing. While we have this open, let's just look in here a little bit. Everything looks good to me. Pressure plate is, is nice. Um, Everything looks just as I'd expect it to be, so uh, should be all set to go. 
I'm going to take those batteries out since they're not included in the sale, but um, all in all, a fairly nice example of the Olympus Trip AF31, 35mm film camera.